you come here, you want to order a small because that's a small. I sure couldn't have ate a large. I know you've all been warned and I've been warned but this is what happens when you walk into your slide I unhooked the Jeep turned to walk around the RV BAM right into the slide and not even five minutes earlier I was thinking I've got to get the pool noodles for the corner of our slide because I've seen people over and over and over who has made this dumb mistake that I just made so you can't be too careful with your slides get the pool noodles put them on the corners I'm gonna pay for this one I'm, I'll be surprised it went all the way down my cheekbone so you can see a spot here so I, I might even have a black eye out of it so be careful with your slides get the pool noodles don't be dumb like me we're here at the Berlin RV Park Berlin Ohio there's our rig down there. It's a relatively new campground. It's only 10 years old. As you can see, the trees aren't grown up yet. But we like it. We have all amenities for $43 a night. The shower house was clean and private. And I'm not sure how many total sites they have here. We're in their last full hookup site, full pull through. There is another row for back in electric and water only. We're up here at Berlin, heart of Amish country. We're gonna go into town here in a little bit take in some sights and get some breakfast somebody said Boyd and Workman's is the best restaurant to eat at so if you're ever in this area look up Boyd and Workman's we'll let you know if it's no good though that's where we're gonna stop they say it's only 10 years old and we have two picnic tables I thought it was odd that our fire ring was on the other side of our entrance to our RV and I just asked the lady at the camp store and she's the camp host and she said when they first opened this row up somebody wanted to put the fire ring and the picnic table over on this side over here because it was more private and I can see why they think that it is you're over here you're right next to the other camper so we kind of special we got two picnic tables we can use either one of them so I guess that's a kind of a blessing isn't it Berlin RV Park Berlin Ohio. well we've made it to Berlin Ohio walking the historic downtown area people come from all over to walk this little town the heart of Amish country. Route 66, camping apparel outlet. I really, really like that flag right there. You don't get enough. 
enough support these days. There's bad police out there. There's a lot more good than there are bad. That old golf sign is really neat. Mexico. This is probably not your wallet, is it? It's, it's oh my. kind of a hot one. That's a hot it's one. Good to, I didn't know if you'd ever that's seen a, hot commodity. a coin like that one, but that's a good one. <laughs> Have fun. Thanks for coming. So this is our magic theater. They're very rare. There's less than 30 of them in America. Uh, and we are performing our shows now, and we're getting ready to transition to the Halloween shows that are for them at the end of the uh, month of October. And then we perform 30-minute shows with uh, Mysterio out of Florida. And where are we at? We are, you are in Berlin, Ohio, and we're one of the five oldest shops, and the theater is just very rare. It's also a museum, and that's me. That's one of my posters when I was 20, <clears throat> doing stage and TV, and this is me when I was 20. And uh, that is the great Raymond. That's me, and that is the great Raymond. <clears throat> and the great Raymond died the year that I was born. He's from Akron and buried there. And most people don't realize that the state of Ohio produced five of the greatest magicians in the whole world. Raymond was one of them. And that's not counting all of the other magicians who were, you know, probably just as great but not as famous. So I can't let you go down, but you can bring your camera over and look down. And this is the theater. It's like an 1880 Victorian. And it's really... Uh, it's very beautiful when the lights are on. And you have you have timed shows? Yeah, we do professional shows. Our okay. last show was Saturday. Okay. And then we have a two week lull and then pretty soon we'll go back to our thirty minute shows. But our most famous shows are the last four, the Halloween shows. Okay. They're about two hours. When long. do them begin? I think the first one is October twenty second and 23rd and October 29th and October 3rd. At what time? Well, the night shows are at 7 and then the afternoon shows on Saturday are at 2 or 2.30. Berlin, Ohio, folks. Yeah. So Thank I thought you. you might want to see something rare. Thank you. Very, very nice. Very informative. Thank you. Well, so far I'm having a good time today. I love that magic store. Do you love it, huh? Yes. Good. Great. We're having a good time here today I love in Berlin. Amish country. You love Amish country? I love Amish country. Good. That is so cool. Most unique store in Berlin. Everybody's hiring right now. they do when you're a tourist raise the prices all right everybody we just found cotton candy fudge popcorn and ice cream this girl never passes up cotton candy what do you got to choose between now I got to choose between cotton candy and fudge so I don't know what I'm doing. we'll see what she gets everybody we are at Amish B. Halt Amish and Mennonite Heritage Center. They got a beautiful Grace Church next to it. Got to pull up here and get this mural. It says allaboutgrace.org. 
Jesus was about grace. That's why he came. Here is the mural. The Amish are one of many Anabaptist groups that trace their roots to the Anabaptist movement in the 16th century at the time of the Protestant Reformation. Other groups include Mennonites, Hutterites, and Brethren in Christ. Anabaptists emphasize a literal interpretation of the teaching of Jesus, especially the Sermon on the Mount. This is a scale model barn. It's really, really neat. Six, eight course a block, that's standard. Barn raising day. In the morning the floor was nailed down, the walls laid out by the boss or master carpenter. Early in the morning the men started to arrive, began the work of raising the barn. Flame work was laid, pre-assembled, moved into position. By the end of the day, the barn was completed. My, my, my. You seen the barn earlier in this video. Is this really going to uh, No, we're just going to, we're going to pick this up. She okay. needs one of these. Thank okay. you. Sure. I'm starting a 15 minute video. You're welcome to watch that. Okay. Time. Thank you. Does anybody want to buy a buggy? Can you imagine doing a cross country trip in a buggy with a horse? I'll tell you what, that would be epic. That would be epic. Build a rig out of one of them. Yes. Looky there, we got a goat on the roof. It's our last night here. Thought I'd cook us up a little something something, some asparagus, and some rib steak. I like my rib steak a little bit more. Uh, tougher. And asparagus is gonna be really good. You know it's been so warm here we haven't wanted a fire. It's our last night, so we're gonna have a fire set out here. It cools off pretty good as soon as the sun goes down, it gets down around high 60s so I made the kindling up at home before we left Getting a little wiser on stuff like that it was pretty easy to start yeah gonna have dinner pretty soon asparagus corn on the cob and some rib steak